I'm very much a, a, the new boy here. Um, uh, I've, I've come from a, a Baptist tradition. I've, I've joined a Methodist church. Um, uh, and one of the things I've, I've observed is the uh, tensions between the existing structures and this new life that's emerging. On one hand, we are extremely grateful to the generosity of the Methodist Church for allowing this to happen. Uh, but on, on the other, it, it, it's, it's allowing the life to emerge without it being uh, s squashed by existing structures. The crucial thing is trust. Trust and a generosity of spirit. I think that those are the those are the crucial things on both sides. Um, uh, and when, when that happens, it's 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 glorious. When we moved to Child, we had a heart to do some detached youth work and to try something new. And so we contacted the local churches to see how and if they would support this sort of project. We run the project in partnership with the local Baptist church, and we. Uh, we run also an association with churches together in Chard. The support is, is there in prayer, but sometimes people feel they don't really understand quite what we do. But I, I always get asked, you know, how's it going and what's going on, and that's really good. And one Friday night we were out walking around the community and we discovered a crowd of teenagers sitting along the windowsills of those shops. The idea of this uh, was forming in my mind um, more than the six years that Boring Wells has been going. Before that, we were already thinking about some of these things, partly because of my experience in parish ministry, uh, where I was the vicar in a, a housing estate in the suburbs of Belfast, and realising that there were whole groups of people we were never making really any real contact with. I'm wondering how do we do that when we already have the church visible and uh, active in that community and yet not reaching other people. In discussion with the bishop and uh, looking at the possibility of would it be possible to go on the missionary adventure in the diocese, uh, in the city and obviously in other people's parishes because everything is in a parish. Uh, so those discussions, and they're ongoing, of how do you work that out. Uh, but the bishop uh, was open to the idea. He could see the need. Um, and uh, he, gave us, uh, he gave us time to talk to him and to talk to diocesan council about how this would work. And I remember one crucial moment, and he was very supportive uh, of the idea, um, but realising there are difficulties in how this works out in real life because of the systems that we inherit. And I remember uh, one crucial moment with him um, when he said, yes, uh, I think it would be right to give this a go. Uh, and I said to him, well, are you going to give me any money? And he said, no. I said, well, are you going to give me a house to live in? He said, no. I said, are you going to give us any buildings to work from? Uh, and he said, no. And I said, Bishop, what exactly is it that you're giving me? And he said, I'm giving your permi permission. After a pause, I thought, actually, that's exactly the right thing to give us. I would encourage people to dream, because I think that God is a God of adventure, and he loves to see people who are Christians, who are followers of him, taking a risk, and daring to do something different. Because actually, I'm sure that in many ways, actually, he's got a smile on his face when he sees us. Okay, yeah, we've made mistakes, we've got dirty, muddy, disillusioned and fed up. But I know that I'd rather stand before God when the final day comes and say, I tried, than to have sat and been comfortable and to have never tried in the first place. Mm -hmm.